Okay, so this thing I just ordered. It's the Pelican Elite Cooler. It's 50 quart. I One thing I wanted to say about these is, first of all, they're really hard to find retail stores. So I was looking all over the place because I wanted to have a look at it first because I heard that some of them had some issues with um, the, the, oops, the back seal back here or um, leaking on the on the um, drain port. This one I've had water in it for a couple hours now uh, with a couple jugs full of ice and I haven't had any leaking. Um, not really the best test for you know seeing how long it'll hold ice. I was just really wanting to kind of check it out. So far everything looks good. Uh, everything's in good shape. Um, latches are awesome, um, but there's a couple reasons I went with this one. Um, one, of course, is it's quite a bit cheaper than than a Yeti, um, and the other reason is I feel like Yeti is somewhat does some deceptive marketing. This one's called a Pelican 50, so its internal capacity is 50 quarts. So, you know, in other words. You can get 50 quarts inside. Um, Yeti, when you look at theirs, um, not quite sure how they determine what their numbers are because, so if you have like a Yeti, the 65, it will not hold 65 quarts. I don't know if maybe it's actually the volume that the cooler itself will displace because I don't have a Yeti, so I can't test that out. But um, to me, that seems slightly deceptive because if you have one that's uh, 65 for a Yeti and a 65 for pretty much any other brand the Yeti will actually hold less than 65 and the other brands will hold 65 quarts or in this case you know it'd be a 50. Um, a couple things to note one, one of the things we were hoping to do um, other than upgrading to something that would hold ice a lot longer than our our little igloo cooler um, really kind of hope this would fit in our trunk we have a um, a Jetta uh, just a standard one not hatchback or anything like that and I tried to get this in the trunk a little bit ago by myself and that uh, that wasn't gonna work um, typically this won't really be an issue for us because it's just my wife and myself so we can throw it in the back seat which I kind of was a little worried about that even but I opened the doors and it will fit in the back seat problem is sometimes you know we do have um, you know one or two other people with us and um, now I'm not quite sure what we're going to do because if we have to go back to the, the igloo cooler, which we can fit in the trunk, um, kind of defeats the purpose of having this nice snazzy cooler on longer trips. Um, we are actually looking at upgrading to a different vehicle. <laughs> it might, um, luckily, the one we're looking at upgrading um, is hatchback, and so that won't be a problem. But um, something to consider, you know, if you're um, worried about how you're going to carry this or where you're going to store it, be sure to check all the the specs um, on the exterior dimensions and everything. I mean, I kind of did that, but um, I didn't really, I wasn't able to build a model or a functional box that was the size of this thing to, to see if it would fit. Because footprint wise, it will fit in the trunk. It's actually, um, the problem is when you put it in the trunk, you kind of have to put it at an angle and I can't get it in and then pivot it down in. So, um, so that's kind of the problem I'm having right now. Um, anyways, the thing looks great. I, I really like how these look compared to the Yeti. Like I said, significant, um, significantly cheaper. Uh, I, I was lucky I actually went through um, a company called Camp Saver here. They're having a sale. Um, this one was actually already reduced, and I don't, I don't know why, if it was just the color scheme or whatever. This one was a reduced price already, um, and then I got an extra 20 cent percent off so for about the closest I could get to the Yeti um, in price this one after taxes and everything came out to like $150 cheaper and that's kind of hard to pass up um, so other than that I think um, I'll do some some ice tests and things with a little bit later um, and then either post another video or stitch a bunch of videos together into one short one that kind of does a little bit more of a review. I'm going to pop the camera off really quick and just kind of show some of the 
features here though. So, you know, if you've looked at Yeti, you know that they have these like rubber T-strap things and I, I mean, I don't know, they're bun like, you know, the old fashioned bungee cord material, which, you know, should last a while and everything, but um, I just, I don't know, I didn't like it. This this thing's awesome because they're like right now it is you know I'm I, I pull I can pull you know see I'm I'm tipping over the cooler and it will not open, but to open it I mean it's just a just a tiny bit of pressure it doesn't take very much so just this tiny bit of pressure boom and that pops up and then to close it you know you there you go you're closed so that is a nice feature um, over here we've got the um, lock hole you know uh, if you get one of these you want to put a lock on you're going to have to get a a, a long well, a long lock because i mean you've got like an inch and a half right there um so you know just like a tiny little padlock or whatever is not going to cut it you're going to have to get something big and then down here you know just as a little added bit of fit with this um you've got a built-in bottle opener which is always a, a nice feature um, at least i think so So inside, got um, this freezer grade um, seal here, which, you know, a little gap, but I think for probably anything you're going to get, I don't know that they're going to be able to put in a, a continuous one, so we'll see if that has any effect. Um, these are in every corner. You have these integrated tie-down points. Um, I, these probably aren't really going to come into play for us, but... You know, if you're on a boat or something, or you're in a, in a truck and you're worried about this thing flying off, you know, you can put in like a ratcheting hook here or something and secure down all of the corners. So, um, you know, just another added thing. And then down here, I'm not going to open it up because, like I said, I do have water in it and I'm kind of just seeing how things hook up. But um, one of the issues I know people had was they were saying uh, on some of these models, they they leaked around here i haven't had any problems i've had it out here for a couple hours and it's a couple gallons of water still in there um one nice thing you know is if these these things are heavy once especially once you get them full i mean i've got two gallons of water and then two one gallon jugs full of ice um so you add that and then the cooler is almost 30 pounds by itself so it starts getting heavy so if you want to drain it and not have to move it nice thing about this is you can um just unscrew this and hook a section of hose onto it and drain the water where you want without having to make a mess anywhere or, or lug it around so I kind of thought that was just a nice little feature and in addition to that when you um, are draining it this one you can see down here it actually um, will channel the water down this way so you know no having to lift up the back to to get the water to drain out so that's kind of another nice feature as well so I think that's it um, you know from the looks and so far it looks pretty nice so eventually we will do the test with the ice and see how things hold up if we can figure out how to get it in the trunk i'll be sure to update that as well